There we go. Ah, come on, come on, come on. Stay with me. It's a lot bigger fish than I thought, actually. Fish right here. Stay out. Nope, 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 nope. Alrighty, good morning guys. Welcome back to another video today. So two interesting things so far today. One where I saw Bill dance at the boat ramp. That was pretty cool. Um, and then two, we have live croakers in the boat today, which I haven't fished in forever. One of my most popular videos on this channel is uh, fishing, snook fishing with live croakers. And it's been a while, so I decided to grab some. They're in the, uh, you know, our big fancy live well here, five gallon bucket, and uh, grabbed about a two dozen of them I think and they're pretty expensive or no I grabbed one dozen and they were $24 that's what it was um, they're pretty expensive they're $2 a piece but snook absolutely love them you can you can catch them and cast at them every now and then stuff like that but grabbing them at the bait shop is pretty dang easy I must say we're gonna try to we're gonna try to whack some big snook today and uh, we got the big rods hoping hoping to just pull on some fish really that's all that's it I got cast net up in the boat in case of an emergency I don't know maybe they don't want the croakers grab some mullet I don't know who knows I'm gonna be fishing big snook today because uh, we dropped some new hats new snook hats over on the website jmfishco.com go check them out there's uh, this blue one and then there is a uh, like a white and black one as well they're pretty neat um, so yeah I think that is that is pretty much it. it is a beautiful day water is crystal clear I, you might not be able to tell right now but it is crystal clear so I got a good feeling about today we should be able to knock out some nice snook and uh, yeah Thank you guys so much for clicking on the video today. Let's uh, let's get started and let's uh, let's find some fish. All right, guys. Just wanted to mention real quick the setup for today. I'm using the 5500 Pen Authority here. This is a heavy duty reel, 40 pounds of drag. Um, then we got the Fenwick Elite Inshore here. This is an eight foot extra heavy. So it is a very stiff, heavy rod. I've caught tarpon off the beach with it. Caught big snook. It is very good for. Uh, well, it's good for big snook because you can pull them away. It's got a lot of it's it's a really strong rod um, 30 pound braid right here. Uh, this is spider wire ultra cast. We've got a 40 pound leader here This is mono leader and then we got a 6-0 circle hook So I'm gonna throw a uh, croaker on and we're gonna go toss them up in these trees find some docks all that sort of stuff uh, Yeah, let's do it before the Sun gets too high. I Can't see a dang thing, but I saw a big wake up in there can't see at all with the sun. Oh, I got picked up. Oh, I got picked up on me. Oh, got it again. There's a fish. Ah, not what I was hoping for. Not what I was hoping for. Little Snooky. Not ideal. Let me see if I can save my croaker here. Croaker's still on. It's not that tiny. Not that tiny, but he's definitely not a drag screamer. All right, all right lost the croaker there. Oh, all right, maybe I gotta be more careful because that is a 15 inch snook that just took a $2 croaker from me. <laughs> definitely want to try to save those. There he goes. All right, first fish of the day. I will take it. Looks like he frayed me up a little bit there. Oh, I just spooked something too. Really, something really big was sitting right there. All right, that's a fish. I think you got a retie here, and yeah, not 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 the biggest fish, not the biggest snook. Let's get retied. Grab another croaker, and probably gonna have to try to focus on sight fishing right now because I don't want my croakers being grabbed by a smaller snook. Bunch of big snook right here. Come on! Oh, instant. There it is. That didn't take long. Big snook, big snook, big snook. Stay with me. Smoked it. That did not take long at all. School of five or six right there, big ones. All right, let's just keep this fish on. Let's keep this fish glued. We are surrounded by docks right here. This is probably a 36 inch fish. Oh, there we go. Ah, come on, come on, come on, stay with me. All right, so there was about five sitting there right on the bottom, threw the croaker right up in there, skipped right across their heads, landed in front of their lips. And just there's a big snook chasing something on the shoreline too, man. <sighs> and I just saw one fly across the bait, and I was like, oh, he got eaten. 
That didn't take long. That was a good fish. That was a good fish. Like I said, they love croakers. I mean, you'd be surprised. You throw a bunch of different baits up in there, and they might not even, they might not even think about it. But croaker, they'll smoke. I think I'll loosen up just a little bit here. Fish is getting tired, which is typically when I'll loosen up on them just to kind of take the pressure off, because you don't need to have a lockdown drag when the fish is tired. There's no need, too much risk. It's a great fish. It's a lot bigger fish than I thought, actually. A fish might be pushing 38. Big snook, big snook, big snook. That was a lot bigger than I thought. Whew. Smoked a little croaker. Can't believe that. Looks like we got a decent hook set. I'm gonna take this fish up shallow and I figure we'll get a measure on a, on this snook. I haven't measured a big snook in quite a while. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> That's a giant. That didn't take long. That did not take long at all. Oh. All right, so as always, when you land a big fish, try to keep the fish in the water just for a moment so they can kind of catch their breath, relax, and then you can get maybe a picture, a measurement. Always good. All right, check this out. I'm going to lift her up here, and then uh, we'll get a measurement. But... Oh. Oh. Big, big snook. Big, big snook. Probably, I'm going to guess... 39, but we'll measure here in a minute so we know for sure. But beauty, that is a stud for a little croaker. That is a stud. All right, so I'm gonna pull this fish over here. I'm gonna pull the hook out. That was a good hook set, that was 6 0. That was a perfect hook set. That fish wasn't really fraying at all. I'm gonna pull this fish over here, real shallow, and we'll use the NOBN ruler to get a, get a measure. All right, real shallow here in the water. Let's do this. All right, so I was better off with my first guess. This fish is 36. Beauty, beauty. I, wa I wanted to say a little bit bigger once I saw the uh, kind of the girth of this fish. I wanted to say 39, but 36, that's a giant. That is a giant, heavy 36. I couldn't imagine the weight of a fish like that if it was 40 plus, but... All right, girl, she's going to cruise off right there. Beauty. Beauty. See ya. That's a awesome fish. Incredible. Go ahead and roll up the NLBN ruler here. That fish was fighting. I mean, I know why that fish was fighting so hard. It was, it was all the weight there. That was probably a 20-pound fish, but only 36 inches. All right, well, beautiful fish right there. That was, uh, like I said, 36 inch. Really, really good fish. I can't believe we got that at eight o'clock in the morning. Sometimes it takes all day to find a good fish, but since I've released that fish, or actually since I've hooked into that fish, I've seen three other big snook blow up. So I'm gonna just creep back into the Ginu here, throw on another uh, croaker, and uh, we'll see what we can do. Cause fish are out and about eating all of a sudden right now. It seemed like the first hour of the day, didn't see a dang thing, and all of a sudden, like a switch, they're eating and they're active, so. I'll take it. I think I gotta retie my leader, but other than that, that's pretty cool. Oh, big snook. That one did not work out for me. Here's a bunch of snook right here. No oh, bites? Come on. Oh, one's on it. Oh, one ate it. Nah, he's not very big. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh no, is this a trout? Oh, it's a nice trout actually. Wow. That was a nice trout. I wasn't expecting that. I, I saw a bunch of snook threw up in there. I'll take it. That's actually a really nice trout. I thought it was just maybe a 20 inch snook, but a 20 inch trout is pretty nice to, pretty nice to get. Smoke the croaker. Oh, good fish. I'm a little overpowered here on my setup, but good fish. Trout do like to shake, man. They like to shake. Let me see if I can get him. That was really not what I was expecting. I saw a fish come right across it. I mean, 
I said, oh man, a little snook wrapped it, but not a bad, not a bad trout. Good to get some variety as well. See if I can land this guy. <clears throat> These guys are masters at shaking off at the boat. He's barely hooked. He is barely hooked. Oh, all right, got a hand on him. Nice trout, smoked the croaker, probably, I don't know, 19 inches. I'll go ahead and be very gentle with them, see if I can just pop them off real quick and let them go. These guys are not doing all that well. I feel like they're doing better, but try to just take your time with trout because there's just not quite as many as there used to be. All right, that's it, he's gone. There he goes. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, back up in the mangroves there. Decent fish, not what I was expecting. A trout, and uh, what do we got? Two other snook today, so not bad. Didn't frame me up. We'll just throw on another croaker. I don't have a whole lot left. I'm gonna have to probably grab some mullet here soon if I wanna keep catching fish today, because it's early, and I don't know. I just must have uh, miscalculated. I didn't think I'd be using this many croakers, but I'm almost out. Two nice snook right here. Oh, is the one gonna eat? Oh, yeah, that one smoked it. Yep, 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 yep. Stay out of the trees. Stay out. Nope, 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 nope. Gotta turn the trolling motor off here. Oh, oh no. Frayed me right there. Dude. I knew he got that thick. I couldn't see the hook. I couldn't see the hook. Man! He probably just got that hook just in the inside of his lip there. And it was rubbing the whole time. That was not a bad one. He was probably 26 inches, but super, super strong. Oh, I don't get beat much, but man, I got beat right there. Afraid. Had two just coming right across the surface right here and just flipped right in front of them and just hammered the croaker. Hammered it. Yeah, you can see that. That's frayed pretty bad. He had me up in those mangroves. I was doing my best to uh, just keep like the line below it. Man, I just got beat, man, got beat. All right, so 9.45 right now. Haven't had like a ton of action since that big one, but that was it right there. That, that was a little break right there. Just got beat, man, got beat. Happens every now and then, but we'll just keep on moving. I got a nice little canal right here. Should be some snook or maybe a red or should find something in here. There's those two at the mouth there. So gotta assume there's gonna be more. And yeah, let's figure out where they're at. Should be somewhere. There's a fish. Got one. Oh, come here. Oh, there's a dolphin coming in hot at me too. It's about the, uh, no, he's definitely smaller than the last one. Just flicked it up under this tree there and found him. I just barely see him up under there. There's a dolphin hanging out right behind me, so I'm gonna try to get a good release on this guy and just send him back into the mangroves here to make sure this dolphin don't get anything. You definitely don't wanna feed the dolphins because they won't leave you alone. They'll learn to follow boats and I honestly think they'll learn to follow like even specific boats. Like I've always kind of felt like dolphins can sometimes, <sighs> come right at me, I think, because they just recognize the yellow ginu and recognize that I catch fish, but I don't ever give them fish. But he's hanging out behind me here. Best way to handle this guy is, this guy's probably 20 incher, but I'm just gonna grab him here and just gently release him back into the mangroves. I'm gonna point him up there so he swims in that direction. We don't wanna shoot this guy uh, back towards the dolphin because the dolphin will catch him probably 99% of the time. So I'll just shoot him back up that way He's good all the way back up in there and then that dolphin is still sitting right there waiting for something to come at him but nothing's gonna come at you buddy nothing's coming at you wow look at that clear water he's waiting but you're not gonna win today haha <laughs> all right well that is the uh third snook of the day i guess i still got a th three four more croakers i'll use those but we'll grab some mullet here soon and uh i'll take it i'll take it got a nice catch and release on that guy Let's just throw on another bait and keep moving. 
keep moving. It's something about something weird too. When you're fishing croakers, it's like they are a bait that's usually found on the beach and clear water and stuff like that. I feel like at least. And the snook that are in clear water like this right here, it is very crystal clear. Eating the croakers way better than the ones that were like I've passed up that were like in in darker, uh, shadier water. Um, it's kind of interesting. It's like maybe those ones in that dirtier water are looking for mullet and these clean water ones are looking for maybe pinfish and mahara and croakers and stuff like that. But looks like I got this croaker and then one more after this, but we'll have to grab mullet soon. Definitely gonna smoke a snook right here. I'm feeling it, shoreline looks really good. Tons of bait, tons, tons of bait. There's a whole school. That snook smoked it. Yep, there it is. He doesn't even like know he's hooked. Big snook. Big snook. Oh my gosh, there's a school like 20 fish right there. Nope, nope, nope. Going open water. Open water. Open water. Open water. Yep, nice fish. Let me reverse out of here. I gotta get him away from these mangroves. He's going to dart right for that. Don't go towards the trees. Don't go towards the trees. Oh, nice fish. It's like a school of like 10. Yep, 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 yep. Open water, open water. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Stay out of there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Swim right at me there, almost lost. <sighs> almost. <sighs> That's a good fish. That is a good fish. That is that is the big fish number two of the day. I'll take it. That fish ate and didn't even like quite realize what had just happened. And honestly, I didn't even like see him eat. Whoa! <laughs> That's a good one. That is another good one. A little bit smaller than the last one, probably 34. Probably 34. There's 10 right there. And I was just saying to myself, I'm gonna get a fish right here. There's a there's a bunch of bait. Let me see if I can land this guy. Looks like I got a pretty decent hook set. Eh, maybe it's 32. Somewhere in that area. 32 to 34. Let's get that. Oh, let's get that grab. Come on, come on. Oh, he just bit down really hard. Hey, there we go. Yeah, like I said, 32 to 34. Beautiful snook. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Ooh. All right, how about that? There was about 10 of them that size right there and picked it right back up. Beautiful fish, beautiful. All right, got the perfect hook set right there. That fish wasn't going anywhere. Probably gonna have to retie a leader here in a second. And I think I only have one croaker left after this. So pop this out, come on. All right, hook is out. Let this guy go. Or girl, I guess it's probably a girl. Oh, there it goes. All right. All right, taking a quick snack break here. It's almost 11 o'clock now. I actually miscounted and I have four more croakers in the live well. I, I thought I had only one left, but. I got a bunch more opportunities. I'm gonna try to use those four to get four more fish. And uh, if, if I'm finding a ton of fish and for some reason I run out of those croakers, I might grab a few mullet here. I still haven't decided on that. Just gonna kind of depend on what I catch with those, the rest of the croakers I have. But I'm gonna eat this. We're gonna move to a, an area where it's a little bit deeper and hopefully knock out one more good fish today. We have two fish that were over 30 inches. We had, I think two fish that were about 20 inches. Maybe, uh, can't, I kind of lost track of what size they were, but. Got that trout as well, that was nice, but hopefully we can knock out one more fish too with these croakers, if not more. Try something different here to wrap up the day. There's some big fish blown up on these pilings. I'm gonna throw a five inch under there, see if I can get a bite.
My chest camera just died. <laughs> there we go. There we go. It's a good fish. Oh. That is a good fish and there was a multiple right there too. How about that? All right, well, that is gonna have to do it for the day. Got that one on a five inch NLBN in a fresh mullet. And I've just been grinding for the past couple hours. Had a lot of close calls with Big Snook, but got that one right there off uh, like a concrete piling there. Just slammed it, slammed it. There's two there too. Probably would've got a bite from either. They were both kind of fighting over it. I saw them pop off the wall for it, but. Probably 31 fat fish, fat fish, smoked it. It's probably one of the biggest uh, snook I've got on a five inch, to be honest. It's a good one, real good one. All right, just sent that one there, sent that one off at 1.30, so found one on that to finish off the day. Um, I'll probably throw for a couple more minutes, but real slow once the sun comes up. I, summertime, is, or maybe not when the sun comes up, but once the heat kind of picks up, the uh, fishing definitely gets difficult when in like the summer months, so. That was a good one. That was a good one. Felt good to kind of wrap up on that one. But I'll throw around for a few more minutes. Maybe I can find another fish. Well, I am a bit beat up. I got no more croakers. I have, uh, I'm just a bit tired. It is almost two o'clock. Sun is just out, not a cloud in the sky, and it is very windy. So definitely time for me to head home. Uh, we had a pretty, pretty, pretty good day I'd say we caught three fish over 30 inches we got the uh, the 36 the one that I think was about 33 and then the one I just uh, just released was probably 31 and uh, the the croakers worked I mean I spent $25 um, for those 12 croakers but I got like four or five good fish and and I, I probably missed a couple good ones in there as well I could have probably had half a dozen really good fish with those croakers but who's to say I couldn't have done about as well with live mullet who knows? Let me know down in the comments. Do you guys ever fish live croakers? Do you guys catch them? Do you guys buy them? Um, they're a pretty neat bait. I don't fish them too often, maybe once or twice a year when I kind of just go for it. Um, and it usually always produces some good fish. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today. Check out the hats on jamfishco.com. I'd really appreciate that. And hit the like button if you enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in that next video.